Hi guys and welcome to another Notion video. You have been devouring them and I have just really enjoyed talking about Notion because it's just this, as I say in every video I talk about Notion, I'm just hugely, hugely advocating for this app because it's made my life so much easier and it helps me organize everything. So after my two huge overview Notion videos, I thought why not diving a little bit deeper and I've decided for this first little lifestyle Notion deep dive. I'm going to be showing you my favorite list and that is my life library. I love productivity and all things making my life easier, more efficient and having more time for what truly matters. So obviously books about personal growth and self-help have a huge place in my heart and I do actually think that they are the number one reason of why I started this whole journey, why I am the person I am today. I've learned so much more from books than I've ever learned in school. The thing is reading or listening to lots and lots of books, it's a lot of knowledge. So I found a way of how I track all the knowledge, what I've read, basically like a categorizing system of my books inside of Notion. It's called a live library. Also, as I do with these little mini series videos, I leave you a template in the description box so you can simply duplicate and use it yourself. And you know, change it however you like it. In order to get to my book list, I have the recollection schedules and lists tab, and I have all sorts of lists and recollections and schedules on there. <laughs> um, and so if we click on life library, this is where all my books are located. And to be honest, I really, really, really love this spread. And I'm going to talk you through why I love it so much and what you can do with it. All right. so. If you're a little bit familiar with Notion already, this is just a database in form of a table. And so the table is categorized in name, author, like name of the book, author, type, which kind of sort of means genre, but I'm more like what the book means to me as opposed to what it technically really is about. So that's why I call it type and not genre because um, consciousness is not necessarily a genre, if that makes any sense. Status, um, the version I have the book in when I finished a book and whether or not I have book notes for this book. This looks really empty. I actually have completed two book notes already. So the four, th four agreements we just finished um, today, which is today. And we have book notes as well. Okay, let me explain. Okay, Life Library is all the books I read that matter to me. And um, while these are all the books that do, um, I want to quickly dive into the different types of books I read. So podcast, um, I usually never use, but in the case that I will ever have a podcast, I am really stoked about and I really enjoy the content and think I have to remember, then I would put it in this life library as well. But usually the types of books I read is self-development, myths and stories, spirituality and consciousness, science and history, and psychology. The members pick, um, that is books that because I'm subscribed to Audible, they do have a monthly free book, but it's usually like, um, just like, um, like a coming of age story or like, just like a novel or anything like that. And not necessarily, oops, not necessarily anything that has to do with personal growth. I keep it in here anyway, but I usually don't really need to keep track of them. But who doesn't love free stuff? So <laughs> the status, um, that is quite easy as well. We have reading or listening, ready to start and finish. Um, the version is quite clear. It's audible or a book. Um, I think the most amazing part of this database is that I can switch the views over here. So I have next reads, for example, which is all the book that um, are listed or ready to start. These are all the books I own either as a physical copy or a audiobook. Um, and so I can go to this overview and just choose what I want to read next. Current reads is everything I currently read. So these are the books I have started. I don't really obviously read all of them every day. So these are the books I've started. If I have finished a book um, or want to put any notes on it, it's easier to go into current reads list because it is obviously far less and it's easier for me to pick the book. And then I have the book notes list. So everything I have compiled a complete book note overview. 
I have in here. All right. And now let's dive into the book notes, which is something I absolutely love. If you open any book, you have all this stuff to put in on the top. Um, which are basically the table inputs. But then I also have this template down here, which is the book notes. And so I have basically either a, oops, either a opinion piece, summary, quote, thoughts, or actionable advice of everything in the book that I want to remember. It is usually sorted by chapters. So um, I have opening credits um, and then all the chapters. So yeah, and now within this overview, you can also filter what kind of information you want to extract from the book. Is it, for example, only the summaries? You can add a filter and, for example, filter for summaries. So when tags is summary and it shows you all the summaries. If you are looking for what actionable advice has this book given me? You go to actionable advice and you have all like the lists and the to do's and stuff. Same for example with quotes. If you're looking for a quote, here we go. All the quotes um, that I wanted to remember from this book. So this is just an awesome way of keeping all the vast knowledge and sorting all the vast knowledge and keep it accessible at your fingertips. So currently with my membership, there is a book club, which we read a book every month. Um, so actually the third book is just coming up now and this is where I constantly share the notes to any book so as we read the book I complete all these book notes and then I share the link so anyone who either has also read the book and wants to keep the summaries in mind can access the file or anyone who didn't manage to read the book or finish it in time or whatever can access that as well both in combination I think the book cycle and then also um, the way of me filing and keeping track of what I read is really maximizing the way I can learn from books. That is pretty much it. And I think it's super helpful spread if you learn with books um, and if you have, if you read books that help you grow in life or really if you want to summarize anything out of books really. And so this template is of course linked in the description for you to easily copy the whole life library with all its templates and book notes and use it for yourself and adapt as much as you want it. All right guys, back again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying Notion stuff so far. I try and keep it at one video a week. Um, and if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe and join the family because there will be lots more coming. Also, feel free to leave in the comments what exactly you want me to talk about. If there's anything, any questions you have about Notion, you know, I spent lots of time. I'm sure I can figure out and help you in some way or the other. So make sure to leave a comment. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm sending you all the love and I hope you're well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.